Hello there ladies and gentlemen, and today we will be updating an old tutorial on how to get spe speech to text and music integrations working with OSC. So firstly you're going to want to download a program called TTS Voice Wizard. Uh, the link will be in the description or you can google it for yourself. Uh, so once you are here, you're going to want to download the releases, the one of the latest releases and download the 64.zip. Once that is downloaded, open that up, control A, and drag that into a folder you've created on your desktop. Alright, now once that's in here, you're going to want to scroll down and run TTS Voice Wizard. Now if you're running this for the first time, it might ask you if you want to install something for it to be able to run. You're going to want to hit yes, and it's going to send and set up automatically. It should relaunch. If it doesn't, just run it again after the install and you should be good. So once you're here, the first step you're going to want to take is go into settings. Uh, the speech to text, uh, there's a couple different options here. So we got a couple options here. Vosk, for instance, uses your CPU, while Whisper uses your GPU. So if you're in a situation, let's say you're playing VR chat, that uses up a lot of your GPU a lot of the time, so you're probably going to want to stick with Vosk. So for the tutorial purposes, we're going to do Vosk. Um, you're also going to want to set up an input device, so you're going to want to set that to your actual microphone. So we're going to set that to my microphone. And we have our output device, your speakers, which uh, you can choose your actual speakers. Output device, which you're going to want to use is your cable uh, which would I have a couple different ones here which one is the one I'm looking for cable input okay so you're gonna wanna hit use on that okay we got this a little backwards okay perfect so make sure that's the first output is set to something you're hearing your speakers your headphones and the second output is something you want going to the game all right, so now that we're here, you're gonna wanna hit speech provider. Hit local, and you're going to want to set up a VOSC model. So, uh, so what you're gonna wanna do is hit the question mark at the right side here, and that'll open up a page. So RAM usage, as you see, will be high, medium, low. If you got 32 gigabytes of RAM or above, you're fine with giga speech. If you got 16, I'd say maybe medium if you got anything below 16 go low um, now the giga speech will obviously be b much better voice recognition than below or the L graph that's all up to to the RAM you got so we already have the medium one downloaded so that will just sit here and download this which we already have an unextracted or extracted already here so once you have your Vosk model extracted onto your desktop or wherever you would like it to be, you're going to want to locate it in this Vosk model folder. So you hit browse, then you'd locate wherever that would be sitting, which is right there. Select the folder. Very nice, very nice. So now all you should have to do is go up to text to speech and if you hit speech to text to speech you should see starting up Vosk don't click anything and do not click anything I learned that the hard way so now it's saying Vosk listening which is very nice so there is the speech to text um, if you would like it to repeat your voice in to something else you can always do TikTok you can do GLaDOS uh, they all have some level of setup that you're going to need to put into it. Um, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're going to keep it basic. Um, so now we're going to move on to the Spotify integration. So first you're going to want to go down to the integrations tab and hit media integration. So there's two types of integrations that you can have. Just Okay, now after a little bit of experimentation, all you have to do is flick this on and you should be able to 
just play anything uh, if, if I shut up for a second. There we go. So the text to speech will always take precedence over your over your your now playing. So there is that. Now you're probably going to want to have a it connected to your Spotify, which is pretty decent. So what you're gonna want to do is go on to developer.spotify.com slash dashboard, which also will be in the links below. You're going to want to create an app. You're gonna want to name it anything, doesn't matter. Uh, app name, app description, also doesn't matter. Website, leave blank, and you're going to want to put this into the redirect URA which also will be put in the description for copy and paste ease of use purposes. I understand and agree with Spotify's blah blah blah. Hit save, okay, hit settings, hit your client ID, copy that bad boy, and then you're gonna want to enable Spotify API mode and just slap that bad boy in there. Hit connect Spotify, uh, hit allow access, and you're also going to want to hit allow access. If the app does not detect authorization, cool beans. Okay. Then we hit that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you set up the voice to text, the music side of things. And on the next video, I will teach you how to actually professionally bring audio into voice meter without sounding like absolute ass. Stay tuned for that one, because, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be a treat. Have a good one, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.